Hello everyone, so we will continue our interview preparation part. So I have a couple of questions which was generally asked in interview. That question we are going to solve today. So let me open my SQL server. So I have one of the employee table. This is the employee table I have which I have created. I will share query with you so that you can also create the employee table and you can practice this all the question. If I show you this is the table I have. In this table I have a employee ID, employee name, department, salary and the location. And I have a couple of questions which we are going to see today. My first question is like write a query to find out second highest salary employee. So this is the common question like either they can say like to find out the second highest salary or they can say like to find out the third highest salary, fourth highest salary or second lowest salary, third lowest salary like that question generally asked in interview. How actually you can solve this all the question. So what we will do, we will try to solve this question with the help of the windows function. So what I will use, I will try to use a windows function row number. So I, how actually I can solve, select star with the help of row number, I will try to give a rank based on their salary order. So what I will use, select star comma row number, we will use over clause and we will use order by salary descending. So based on the their salary, we will try to assign a rank we will try to assign a rank. If I have written order by salary descending order means based on their salary highest to the lowest we will try to assign a rank from EMP from EMP. Now if I will execute this you can see based on their salary we have assigned a rank. You, you can see highest salary employee got rank 1 then second highest salary got rank 2, third highest salary got rank 3, like that we have assigned a rank. So now what we have to find out, we have to find out the second highest salary employee. So in this case what actually I can use, from this query whatever the rank I have assigned I can filter the data. So if I will use, how actually we can filter the data, so for that we will use a CTE function and from this CTE what we will do, we will filter a data, select star from CTE where rn equal to 2. If you have to find out the second highest salary then you will write 2. If you have to find out the third highest salary then you will write a 3. Now if I will execute this, you can see who is the second highest salary employee. This is the second highest salary employee and the salary is 88,000. If you will write the who is the third highest salary employee then you will make rn 3 then you will get the third highest salary employee. So like that we can get a result if anyone is asking to find out second highest salary, low, second, uh, third highest salary, so we can solve like this. Now, my next question is like, write a query to get second lowest earning employee. Who is the second lowest earning employee? So what we will use? We will use a windows function here. I will use a row number. We have to find out the lowest. So what we will use? Over order by salary ascending. You can mention ascending or if you will not mention by default it is ascending only from employee. Now if I will execute this, what will happen based on their lowest to the highest salary. So this is the lowest salary right, it assigned rank 1 then rank 2 rank then rank 3 like that. Now what we will do, we will try to filter our data with CTES, we have to find out the second lowest salary. So what we will use, select star from CT, where rn equal to 2. We have to find our second lowest salary, right? So who is the second lowest salary? This is the second lowest salary employee, right? Employee ID 9. So if I will execute this, I should get that result. You can see, I am getting that result. Employee ID 9 is the second lowest earning employee. So like that actually we can solve uh, the second highest, second lowest, third highest, third lowest like that. So this is the table I have. Now in this table, if anyone is saying write a query to get second highest salary based on each department. Now what actually it is asking, so we have seen like how to find out the second highest salary right. Now what actually it is saying based on each department what, who is the second highest salary we have to find out. So you can see in engineering department who is the second highest earning employee from data science department who is the second highest earning employee so that information we want. So how actually I can write a query for that. So I will use the same concept, row number over 
we, because we have to find out based on each department. So we'll try to group based on the department, right? So I'll use the partition by department and order by salary. So based on the highest to the highest second highest we have to find out. So I will use a descending. We'll assign a rank one from PMP table. Now if I'll show you what actually this will give me result. So if you, I'll show you, so you can see it grouped all the departments. So we are doing a partition by department, right? So based on each department, it is assigning a rank based on their salary. So in the data science department, 85,000 is the highest salary employee, right? So it assigned the rank one. 84,000 from data science department is the second highest salary, right? So I'm getting a rank two. Similarly, from the engineering department, who is the highest salary? He got rank one, then rank two. Similarly, for the HR, similarly for the marketing and all. Now, what I can do from here, actually, I can filter a data. How actually I can filter a data? With CTE as select star from CTE, select star from CTE, CTE, where RN equal to the 2. So if I'll do where RN equal to the 2, I'll get the who is the second highest salary employee from each department. You can see from data science department, he's the second earning employee. From engineering department, he's the second earning employee. From finance, this is the second earning highest salary employee. From HR, this is the second highest earning employee. So I got that result. Now, one thing you have to remember. So if you have a duplicate record, if you have a duplicate record, like any duplicate record is present in the salary column. So in this case, what actually you can do instead of the row number, you can go for the dance rank or the rank. So that is the only thing you have to remember. If the duplicate no, is not there, then uh, this will work perfectly. Otherwise, based on the requirement, you can use a rank or the dance rank. Now, my next question is like write a query to get third lowest salary based on each department based on each location we have to find out who is the third lowest salary based on each location so how actually i can find out i'll use the same concept select star row number we'll use over partition by location because based on each location we have to find out partition by location order by salary ascending as rn from emp if I'll do this, so based on their each location, so if you will see, this is the location, right? So in Chicago, who is the uh, lowest salary? 65,000 is the lowest salary, so it got assigned rank 1. Similarly, this is the second lowest salary, so it assigned rank 2. So based on their salary lowest to the highest, we are assigning a rank based on the location. So we have grouped the location, right? So all the Austin is coming, then Chicago, then New York, like that. Now what we have to find out, third lowest salary each location so what we'll do we'll filter a data with cts and here we'll write select star from ct where rn equal to the three now if i'll do this we'll execute this based on each location who is the third lowest salary that information we are getting here i hope you got the idea now my next question is like write a query to get bottom two salary based on each location so what we have seen till now so in previous question we have seen like if you have to find out the third lowest salary based on each location or department we were able to solve now what actually it is saying write a query to get bottom two salary so based on each location so suppose in new york who is the top two bottom salary based on each location that we have to find out how actually we can write a query for that so what i will use select star row number i'll use over partition by location right location order by salary bottom means ascending order will give as a RN from EMP. Now what actually it will give me if I'll show you. So you can see in Chicago who, who is the lowest salary 65,000 is lowest salary than the 72,000 right. 
Now what we have to find out? I have to find out who is the bottom two salary based on each location. So in Austin, who is the two bottom salary? Sixty-seven thousand and seventy thousand. These two are bottom salary, right? So I want this detail. In Chicago, this is the two bottom salary, right? So I want that result. Similarly for the New York, I want that result. Similarly for the Seattle, I want uh, this is the two salaries, so I want that result. So what actually I will do? With CTS, with CTS, select star from city, select star from city, where RN in 1 and 2, RN in 1 and 2. So if I'll execute this, I'll get the who is the second two second you can see based on each second who is the top two lowest salary i am getting those result now if you have any duplicate record here if you have any duplicate record if you'll see this 78000 and the 78000 this both salary is same but we assigned a two rank two and the rank three randomly because we are using a row number right now if you had to solve this then we can use a dense rank based on the a duplicate uh, scenario so if you will assign a dense rank then this uh, if any similar salary is there then it will assign the same rank so that's how we can solve that so try that now my next question is like write a query to get the top two salary based on each department so it is the similar query what you have to do instead of ascending you have to write just a descending now if i'll execute this I'll get who is the top to highest salary based on the each location. If you have to find out based on each department, then what you will write instead of partition by location, you will do a partition by the department and you will get the result. So I hope you got the idea. Yeah, that's it in this video.